Hi everyone, um, this is the first in a series of review videos for Math 3273. They're just going to be short videos. Um, in this video, we're just going to look at some examples of vector spaces and some examples of subspaces. So let me first remind you what a vector space is. It's um, the set of vectors, so the elements of V are called vectors. It, 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 it's, it has a field F, the elements of F are called scalars. There's a way to add two vectors to get another vector. And there's a way to multiply a vector by a scalar to get another vector. Okay, so vector addition and scalar multiplication. And it satisfies these eight properties. Let me just try and sum summarize. There is a zero vector, or in other words, the additive identity for V. For each V, there's an additive inverse, so negative. Um, addition is, of vectors is commutative. Addition of vectors is associative. Um, there are th about three distributive laws. So, you know, addition of scalars distributes over multipli scalar multiplication. And scalar multiplication distributes over addition of vectors. And also, you can multiply a scalar times a scalar times a vector, and that's just like a scalar times a scalar times a vector, right? So this times is scalar multiplication, this times is scalar multiplication, this times is scalar multiplication, but this times that's um, multiplication in the field. So the multiplication in the field has to agree with all these different things. And finally, the last property is that one times a vector is just a vector. Okay, some quick examples over the field R. We have whatever vector space you're looking at, just look, put the zero vector by itself and that you get the trivial vector space, also known as, you might call this zero, the zero vector space. Um, you have R1, which is just a set of real numbers. So the set of real numbers forms the vectors um, and the real numbers are also the scalars. Okay. So addition of vectors is just regular addition of real numbers. Um, scalar multiplication is just a uh, regular multiplication of real numbers and things like that. Right. Of course, you have R2. You know, addition is just like addition coordinate wise and scalar multiplication is you multiply a scalar times each, each thing. The zero vector is just the origin, zero, zero, and so on, right? So R2, R3, and so on, up to Rn, which is n tuples of real numbers. Here, we arrange them in a column, okay? And again, addition is coordinate wise, just like in R2, you know? Um, another example is a set of polynomials with real coefficients. We could call that P of R. So, you know, the, 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 the indeterminate might be X and a polynomial might be A0 plus A1X plus da, 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 plus AN times X to the N, where N is a non-negative integer and, sorry, A0 up to AN are all real, are real numbers. And then we have the M by N matrices, whose entries are real numbers. So we'll call that R to the power M times N. Okay. We, um, two more examples. The set of all continuous functions from the interval zero, one to the real numbers. And if X is a set, you can look at all the functions from X to the real numbers. Okay, just some quick examples. Okay, now, um, you know, those are all uh, vector spaces over the real numbers. Well, sure, um, you can just, a lot of these, you can just change the R to a C or a different field, and you get more examples. Sorry, I'm having a little bit. There we go. 
Sorry about that. Okay, so you can just change the R with a C. You have the n tuples of complex numbers. You have polynomials with complex coefficients. Okay. Another name we give for polynomials is C with um, square bracket X in square brackets. Okay, you have the M by N matrices with complex entries. Okay, we might call it like this. Um, just some other another example might be like uh, the the formal power series in the in the indeterminate X. So expressions of the form a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared and da 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 but going on to infinity where all the ai's are complex numbers okay, that's a vector space and then over a general field you, you still have f to the n you have the polynomials with coefficients in f you have the n by n matrices with coefficients in f and so on so we've seen a lot of different so those are a lot of different examples um but basically you just combine um you know the scalars of the field in, in different ways and you get a, a lot of examples that way now um quickly on to the subspace test which we kind of saw in uh in tuesday's class but let me just remind you okay so if v is a vector space over f then w is a subspace if and only if W is non-empty, and uh, A W plus V is in W for all vectors W and V in W, and all scalars A. Okay, and there's other ways to write this um, this condition as we saw yesterday. I, I I don't care which one you use. So if you prefer the other one that we saw, that's fine too. Okay. I just use this one out of habit. So that's that's the story there. Okay, so um, some examples of subspaces. Uh, if alpha is a scalar, then we can look at the subspace of polynomials satisfying f of alpha equals zero. Okay, the set of polynomials having a root at alpha. Okay, you can also look at the trivial vector space. That's a, uh, a subspace of whatever, so like, take a vector space V, l l put its zero vector in a bag and call that the trivial subspace, that's a subspace. Of course, a vector space is a subspace of itself always. So that's another kind of um, non-interesting example. Some more, um, some different examples you know, um, if this, you could look at a subspace of polynomials where f of negative x equals negative f of x. Um, that's the set of odd polynomials. Okay, you could look at the n by n matrices whose conjugate transpose is equal to itself. Okay, you could look at um, the set of functions from V to R, which are linear functions. So these are called linear functionals. You could look at uh, the span of K vectors from Rn. That's also, you could, that's also um, the column space of an N by K matrix. Okay, so column space. Or you could look at the subspace W of all vectors X, such that AX equals zero, where A is some matrix. That's also known as a null space of A. Okay. So in the next video, um, we'll, I just, I'll just go through like some of the different subspaces that come up when you look at a matrix. Okay. Okay. Thanks for listening.